All right, we have a hard hat. We have a safety harness going on. We have a man basket on and secured. So, Frank's gonna go for a ride. All right, we're gonna go playing with Bertha, our new member of the Moreland House team. Carrie's got her hard hat on, and her seatbelt on. We'll uh, find out how this works. We're gonna go up there. So let's find out how this works. This is our first time up. I never thought of myself as a telehandler operator. And Frank said I looked nervous. Well, I really was nervous. I was unsure of the hand signals and at certain angles, I wasn't able to see his hand. So I was really slow about getting him up there and almost uh, painstakingly so slow. So it's just held on by gravity. So now we'll have to figure out how heavy it is and uh, it's always fun I'm trying to do different things. It's a long ways down. successfully in the basket. It wasn't only being held on by gravity. So we'll take this one down and uh, come back up with the strap and see if we can get that one. Alrighty. Got the second one strapped in. It's way too heavy for me to lift. And it weighs about 220, 230. So we'll use the forklift to lift it off of there and see uh, see what happens. Carrie's waiting patient. Carrie's waiting patiently for me down there. Yeah. All right, we've got another rock safely on the ground before it fell. So, one. And the top. The finial, I suppose. Uh, this isn't 
uh, this definitely isn't a quick job. All right, here's another one. This I think is the biggest one so far. They've got a, a hole that shows where the center of balance is right there. So that's where I put my strap. Now I'll try to see if we can get this puppy off without pulling everything off. Wish us luck. As you can see us creeping into this frame, um, Frank giving me hand signals and um, I was still having some trouble on being able to see his hand at certain um, at certain angles. It was just really difficult for me to see. However, and it was brand new, you have to remember this was my very first day of ever uh, dealing with a telehandler and it was quite an interesting day and Frank was very patient with me. But we've got the finial and the pedestal that the finial uh, was sitting on. We got that off and then we got uh, one of the sides of the peaks and um, this this clip is Frank going back up there to get the other side and him tying it in and um, at certain spots you can even see a couple of the bricks fall so this day we get as far as the um, flat stone that the triangle is sitting on we get as far as though all of those down and then we had to take a whole load of brick off as well but um, when he gets up there he uses a pry bar and he loosens the stone and he tries to get a strap around it at the center point where when they originally put them on that they had tongs or uh, a grip or where they had a ring attached to the stone which is how they lifted them in place but it took me a long time to get comfortable with the controls t this day and and um but as you can see frank's patiently waiting for me to figure out which direction to go okay once i finally got frank up there uh he had to remove some flashing that was up there that um, was behind the stone and it was old and it had tar on it and all sorts of stuff but he had to gently work that loose and loosen the stones up so that he could get the straps attached. You can see Frank finally getting that piece of flashing out of the way and um, it took him quite a while. This is, um, like Frank said, not a very fast um, process. Frank put a strap around the triangle um, and the rest of the stones, um, and you saw the interior picture of that. Um, he did that to keep the stones tight up against the uh, dormer so that they wouldn't fall when we lifted that last um, stone off. You can see Frank here prying up that last uh, rock that that's on an angle and he's using some pretty heavy-duty uh, cargo straps and he wraps it around and he does all his fancy little knots and um, works it in and works it around and then he um, attaches that to the telehandler forks and to the, uh, to the, not to the basket itself. The basket wouldn't be strong enough, but they are on, um, he ties it to the, to the back where the, the tines of the, of the forklift are. And I thought it would be pretty interesting for you all to see just, this is fast forwarded. So <laughs> believe it or not, this is how slow I am. But him trying to get that, that stone, that was a really heavy stone and it took him a while to work that one loose. The first one went pretty easy, but this one was quite a bit harder 
to get off. I'm not sure if it was the flashing or or what, but he has me um, adjusting the where the forks are so that he can lift it up just a little bit and get it down. And um, so we lift it up, he adjusts everything, and then I slowly, um, we try not to drag it off, we try to lift them up. And so it's just a long, careful, slow process. I know some people are going, it's scary up there, but like Frank said, it's a long way down. But as you can see, he's double tying and, and all that stuff. But um, we're, we eventually get it down and there it goes, it's coming off. And we had to make sure it wasn't going to fall before we started going back. I tried really hard to follow his directions. Um, I think this one I kind of got confused on on it and I finally figured it out but he was sitting there holding that and um, I guess that one weighed about three or four hundred pounds. It was pretty pretty difficult to get off but we managed to get it down safely and I'm really glad that we did. And we, I tried not to bump him but I'm not real smooth with those controls. But I slowly get him down there and um, we were all safe and sound. Okay, we unstrap that one and we're back at it again. Frank is up there pulling off the carved uh, triangle and it was really cool uh, to actually to be able to see that up close. We've seen it on drone footage, but to actually see it up close was really cool. And of course he again pries it Pries it up and he set this one. Of course, he had it tied on, but he had it set on the actual ends of the forks, which is kind of cool. And you'll see that in just a minute. But that one came up pretty easy, which was kind of surprised us. But there you can see it sitting, sitting on just the forks of the telehandler of Bertha. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Frank and Carrie's Adventures. We really enjoy making these videos and appreciate you joining us on our journey. So feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, feel free to share our videos, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can know when a new video comes out. Until next time! They got a new box. Mimi, Mimi, you in the box? What you doing?